guys pre-filming ritual listen to lizzo cardi b down the red bull you're ready to go that was cardio for me done did i really do a full face of barbie makeup for a skincare video oh, yes, hey guys my name is Krishma and welcome back to my tiny world if you're a real one and you've already subscribed to my youtube channel thank you so so much i really appreciate it but if you haven't seen my face before then welcome should i cut this hair off why guys today is actually my three-year alopecia anniversary and we are celebrating my natural hair i'm about to cut you off honestly there's just no respect this hair has no respect so last time we were discussing my cystic acne story and how i found the cure to my skin condition having acne is like having a toxic boyfriend you can love him as much as you want you can give him the whole world but you can't change him until you find out why he's trash the only difference between your toxic boyfriend and acne is that you can change your boyfriend unlimited times but you cannot change your skin and your skin is like a needy girlfriend you have to give her attention or she'll ruin your life if you want to transform your skin in any kind of way you have to find the root cause of your acne my skin routine was not just intense it was science bitch and i'm gonna be showing you guys how i cured my acne step by step with a demonstration in one month before you experiment on your skin with any kind of chemical you have to do your research and that is something a lot of people neglect because a blogger told them to buy something i'm gonna do your job for you i have done all the research and i have found all the statistics today i will be telling you how you are gonna cure your acne so get your pen and paper ready because this is gonna be A lot of information i don't mean to flex on anyone but i have a biomedical science degree which basically makes me a legally qualified scientist i think so before any of you unqualified self-proclaimed internet troll keyboard warrior dermatologists want to come for me and tell me to let my skin breathe you focus on your breathing and i'll focus on mine <laughs> so i could have filmed a skincare video where my skin was super clear but my skin she's a fake and she breaks out when i need her to look cute so because my skin is hella unpredictable i'm not gonna wait for a perfect moment to film this video i'm just gonna be super real with you guys and get started and i just want to say that i'm a low budget queen okay none of these products are gonna be rich products this is gonna be an incredibly broke friendly skincare routine my skincare routine had hella steps and before any of you come for me and say you're doing too much maybe you're not doing enough okay so this is how i killed my cystic acne in one month let's get started so the aim of my skincare routine is number one to remove any impurities from my skin number two is to disinfect my skin preventing a bacterial breakout number three is to fall asleep with skincare that treats my acne while i sleep so the first thing we need to talk about is how acne is caused because you'd be running to your dermatologist crying saying that you have acne but you don't even know the root cause of your acne and if you don't know it then what's your dermatologist gonna do they're just gonna prescribe you a bunch of experimental things that have no guarantee that they will fix your skin so you need to go on google and do some research lucky for you you have a qualified biomedical scientist in front of you right now who has done intensive research on the layers of the skin and i'm gonna tell you how you are gonna cure your acne if you're booked and busy and you don't have time to listen to the science you can skip straight to the skincare routine but the information i'm about to give you right now is golden because this this information is universal for everyone but the products that i use to cure my acne may not work for you so first we're going to be talking about the layers of the skin the skin is composed of three layers the epidermis the dermis and the hypodermis the layer of the skin that is the most important to someone suffering from acne is the epidermis the epidermis is the surface of your skin so this is where all the dead skin cells are this is where your pores are this is where you will have all your bacterial interaction this is where your sebum will be secreted and this is also where you have your melanocytes that give you your beautiful skin color the epidermis is where we find clogged pores and clogged pores are going to be the root of your acne so we are going to be talking about how your pores get clogged how you can prevent your pores from getting clogged and how you can be doing the most for your skin so sebum is basically the oils produced by the sebaceous glands or the sweat glands inside the skin and sebum is secreted through the pores if your pores are clogged however those oils get trapped inside the skin and that is what causes an acne breakout sebum production is controlled by the concentration of certain hormones in our body these hormones are called androgens and if you have a higher concentration of these androgens you are going to create more sebum and therefore you're more likely to experience acne testosterone is a hormone found in men and women that is responsible for excessive sebum production so if you have fluctuating hormone levels your body produces more testosterone and more testosterone like hormones and that is what's causing your excessive sebum production and that is what's causing your acne 
During puberty, our hormones are fluctuating so much that you produce up to 500% more sebum, which is why everyone goes through acne when they're growing up. The reason why someone with PCOS or severe cystic acne is experiencing acne is because they have super fluctuating levels of progesterone or estrogen. And those fluctuating hormone levels causes them to produce excessive testosterone. And if you have clogged pores and you have an excessive amount of sebum production, you are gonna get acne. The reason why birth control pills help so many people cure their acne is because they control your estrogen and progesterone hormone concentration. And as a result, you don't produce androgens like testosterone that accelerate your sebum production and cause acne. In my last video, I spoke a lot about a contraceptive pill that was prescribed to me by an NHS qualified doctor. This pill was called the Yasmin pill. It did not cure my acne because it's a miraculous medication for acne. It cured my skin because it is a contraceptive which gives your skin the estrogen and progesterone dose it needs to balance out your hormones and therefore you stop producing excessive sebum and you stop getting acne. So I already highlighted some of the side effects of the Yasmin pill in my previous video but I want to reinforce them in this video because I don't want anyone to go and get the Yasmin pill. I really do feel like you should try an alternative contraceptive pill and you can find an alternative very easily. In four months I gained 11 kilos and that affected my confidence a lot and actually did cause me to get super depressed about my body and I was finding it really hard to be body positive. I was constantly looking into the mirror and being like oh my god girl you are very circular. The most damaging side effect that I experienced with the Yasmin pill was the severe migraines. I could not go a single day without having a severe migraine. Because I was in my final year of university these migraines were affecting me a lot because I could not study for my exams. I constantly felt like I was going to pass out because the migraines were so severe. So I ended up going to the doctor and telling them about these migraines and they immediately discontinued the Yasmin pill and they made it super clear that the Yasmin pill was causing my migraines and it was not safe to take that medication anymore. So I immediately discontinued the Yasmin pill and I started taking an antibiotic called Lymocycline. Lymocycline is an antibiotic which reduces the symptoms of acne, it kills bacteria on the skin and reduces inflammation and infection. So just to clarify, I am not endorsing the Yasmin pill. I am endorsing finding a contraceptive pill that works with your body. I really do regret taking the Yasmin pill and I wish I could go back in time and had found an alternative contraceptive pill that didn't give me such severe side effects. Another side effect of the Yasmin pill that I didn't really notice until after when I did so much research on the medication was that I was losing a lot of hair. And in my final year of university, I had alopecia and it was really scary and I was super scared and my mom was crying because like... She wasted hella bottles of vodka oil on my hair. So guys, I'm just going to insert a picture of my alopecia. Don't get scared, okay? It was really scary for me, but you don't need to get scared. This is just another reason why you should not take the Yasmin pill. So all that information was really important for you to understand your skin. And now we can get started with the actual acne routine. Let's go. Okay, so step one is makeup removal. We need to make sure there's absolutely no product on our skin and that our skin is completely pure to get started with our skincare routine. Okay, so to remove my makeup, I'm gonna be using the Face Halo Makeup Remover. I used to use makeup wipes when I had acne, but I'm trying to save the world right now, so that's just like not my vibe. So all you have to do is dip the face halo in water. And once it's wet, you can start removing your makeup. Makeup removal is harder than it looks because makeup is literally designed to cling onto your skin all day. So we have to be super intensive with our makeup removal and make sure we're using products that break down the formula of the makeup. Okay, so I've wiped all my catfish off and now I'm going to be using the Micellar Water by Garnier to make sure there's absolutely no product left on my skin. To be really real with you guys, some of you be doing like whole skincare routines to remove your makeup, but then your makeup brushes are literally like my dog's tail. Like makeup brushes store so much bacteria and collect so much dirt. Like if you're putting that on your skin and then that makeup is sitting on your skin for hours, you have no idea how much you're like self-sabotaging your own skin. Don't be dumb, don't do that. So as you can see, there was some residual makeup left on my skin and that makeup can actually be really dangerous because this kind of stuff is what clogs your pores. So the next thing we're going to be doing is cleansing the skin and usually I would use the activated charcoal scrub by Garnier but um, I've run out and it's quarantined so I can't go get it and honestly my dad doesn't trust me to drive anymore because I've crushed my colleagues so many times. I'm going to be using this Pixie Beauty Hydrating Milky Peel on my skin so you just have to apply a thin layer all over your skin and wait a few minutes. So the product has been sitting on my skin for like two minutes now, so I'm going to start exfoliating my skin. Make sure that when you're exfoliating your skin with a scrub, you're using a scrub that has small beads because you don't want to irritate your skin or cause any micro tears. Make sure that you're not neglecting any parts of your skin. So all these little disgusting bits you see, they're literally dead skin clumping up. Okay, so I'm going to go wash my face and I'll be right back. So I just washed my face with some ice cold water and I'm going to pat dry my face with a fresh towel. You want to pat dry your face and not drag the towel on your skin because that can cause micro tears and towels are not that soft. 
So when I had acne, I used to use a lot of face masks on my skin because I felt like that was really important to remove the impurities from the deeper layers of the skin. I like using things that have ingredients like turmeric, charcoal, seaweed, pure clay. So this was one of my favorite masks to use when I had acne and it is an activated charcoal based mask. And the reason why activated charcoal is so good for your skin is because it acts like a magnet to basically pull out all the impurities, dirt and bacteria from the deeper layers of the skin. So if you're like me and you experience acne on your neck as well, you can always use the face mask on your neck as well to make sure you remove impurities from those areas that usually get neglected when you're doing your skincare routine. You really need to make sure you're micro cleansing and getting all those acne prone areas. I'm just going to let this dry on my skin for about 10 to 15 minutes and when I wash it off I'm going to be using ice cold water. While I'm washing that off I'm just going to exfoliate my skin one more time with the Foreo cleanser. The bristles on this cleanser actually vibrate and really stimulate collagen production in the skin and why that happens is as you massage your skin with this the blood circulation to your face increases so obviously your skin gets all those proteins and nutrients it needs which helps with cell proliferation and helps remove all those dead skin cells to reveal a new layer of skin cells. So while we let this face mask dry let's actually talk about collagen because it's such an important component that builds up the skin it takes care of the elasticity of the skin the strength of the skin and also the structure of the skin so if your collagen production is low you're going to start developing fine lines and wrinkles on your skin so you have to make sure you're doing the most to enhance and encourage collagen production in the skin so one way of enhancing collagen production is eating protein rich foods chicken fish eggs beef i mean i don't eat beef because but you can eat beef another thing that's really really important for elasticity of the skin which stops you from getting wrinkles is drinking lots of water people that don't drink water show signs of aging much earlier than people who drink plenty of water another thing that people neglect is using spf on the skin uv radiation is so so strong and it breaks down the skin so if you don't use spf it's going to start breaking down that collagen and you're going to start seeing signs of aging very quickly obviously you can also get skin cancer because uv radiation is strong enough to mutate your skin cells and cause cancer I've washed my face with some freezing cold water and i'm gonna pat dry it with a clean towel so the next thing that i'm gonna do which really really ensures that all your pores are closed is ice cube treatment and all you have to do is take the ice cubes and rub them on the areas of your skin where you're experiencing inflammation and your pores are the most open so the next step is toner so when i had my cystic acne i was using an apple cider vinegar toner so i've made my own little diluted formula of the apple cider vinegar and this consists of 10 percent apple cider vinegar and 90 percent water i keep this in the fridge to keep it nice and cold to reinforce that cooling sensation on my skin i'm going to spray some of this toner onto a cotton pad so i'm going to tone the skin with the cotton pad but anywhere where i feel like my pores are really prominent i'm going to hold the cotton pad down there for like three seconds Using acids on your skin does make your skin quite sensitive, so when you're introducing anything new to your skincare routine, you want to make sure that you do a little patch test on your neck to make sure that you don't have any kind of inflammation or that you don't have any kind of reaction to that product. So when I had acne, I would use the apple cider vinegar as a toner on my skin every single day, but now that my acne has calmed down, I don't use it as a toner anymore as it's very strong and it's got a very low pH, and I just don't need to be using such a strong formula on my skin anymore. Acids work really well to exfoliate the skin, acids like salicylic acid or glycolic acid or even lactic acid they reduce your hyperpigmentation they lighten your scarring and they also brighten up your complexion after my toner i would use rose hip seed oil on my skin you can use it on your dark circles you can use it on your acne scarring i literally just used two drops on my whole face I'm also going to use the rose hip seed oil under my eyes and that stops wrinkle and fine line formation. So before I sleep, the last step of my skincare routine is applying a thick cold layer of pure aloe vera gel. And the aloe vera gel I like to use is this one. So I literally apply a very thick layer over my skin. Of all the products I've used on my skin and all the techniques I've demonstrated to you guys, applying this thick layer of aloe vera gel on my skin overnight has done the most for my acne scarring. Okay, so I know that was a lot of steps to follow, but honestly, when I was suffering from acne, I religiously and consistently did these things every single day. You guys need to be hella consistent with your skincare routine because you can't expect to use a product one time and just expect it to transform your acne. You have to use it every single day for a couple of weeks to see that change. And I know it's tedious and I know it's exhausting, but you have to do it for yourself. Pretty.
obviously if you've tried everything and you're finding it impossible to find your cure find a dermatologist consult a professional and try and seek medical advice for your acne because it could be an underlying health issue to why you can't resolve your acne yourself so before i go to sleep i'm going to change my pillow cover because i don't want any of the bacteria from the pillowcase transferring onto my skin look how dirty my phone is i'm also going to wipe down the screen of my phone with an antibacterial wipe this time last year i could never have imagined that i would be sitting here doing a whole skincare routine revealing my true uncatfish self on youtube in front of thousands of people but i've come so far confidence wise as well and i have fallen in love with my skin because i know that i'm the only one that's going to take care of it no one's going to come and do your skincare routine for you unless you're super rich and you can afford that kind of thing a few spots on your face do not define you and do not limit your beauty they make you designer and i hope you fall in love with your skin too if you guys found this skincare video informative and helpful please make sure that you like comment share and subscribe and help me make my tiny world just a little bit bigger thank you guys so much for watching and like i always say stay away from self but it's all love